Hey YouTube, it's Numastaka and I'm back with you today for another video with some grading arrivals. These coins have been submitted by somebody, if you've been watching my channel, you will have seen his submissions before. I call him Mr. 1967 because most of his coins seem to be coins that are dated 1967. And luckily for us, the 60s was a kind of era where coins were generally pretty cool, lots of interesting stories to tell. So uh, what we're going to do is take a look at the coins that he submitted and, uh, and take a, a drift into the background and history of some of those coins. So uh, what you've got here is a combination of um, mostly silver coins and there is one gold coin as well. No, two gold coins and uh, one of them is raw and the other one is in a slab and it's back for um, reprocessing. So he wanted to have a GB label on the slab so it'll be reholdered. Uh, interestingly, when NGC do reholdering, they also include a uh, scratch proof holder coating for the holder, which uh, is normally uh, five bucks extra, but uh, it's included with the reholder fee. So let's have a look at these coin, which seem to range from big to absolutely tiny and uh, are spread across a number of countries, including GB, France, uh, Hungary, Burundi, Israel. So there is something for everyone. And I uh, hope you guys like taking a look at these coins. The first one here is a coin that comes from France. Uh, you don't have to worry about the dates of any of these coins because they're all dated 1967. So it's a five franc silver coin. Um, pretty common coin, but this one is in particularly nice condition. The design is La Semeuse, the Sower by Roti. And a lot of people think that this was the influence of uh, Weinman's Walking Liberty as well. And you can see here the uh, similarities, a lot of similarities in the design. Um, really nice coin, very kind of classic. Next coin up is a coin, first one I've had actually for grading from Israel. This one is uh, Israel 1967, the year of the Six Day War, celebrates the victory of the Israel Defense Force and the freeing up of the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem for uh, for worship by uh, Israelis. And uh, it's a really nice modern design. Um, lovely coin, actually. Really, really nice coin. Should grade well that one as well. This next couple of coins come from Hungary, a 25 forint and a 50 forint piece. Uh, and these are celebrating the Hungarian composer Zoltán Kodály, and uh, he was an ethnomusicologist and uh, linguist and uh, invented the Kodály method of musical education. Uh, fascinating guy and uh, beautiful coins to go with it. Uh, two of them here, a little one, big one, part of a, a set. I don't know whether there were any others in the set at the time, but I know I've uh, got two of them here to grade at the moment. Next, it is the turn of uh, my home country, Great Britain, and uh, we've got two coins here, a tiny, tiny one, this one, which uh, is uh, in need of a little bit of restoration, you can see here from NCS. And this is a Maundy one penny, one old penny, one D. And it's uh, something that's been happening every year on Maundy, Th Maundy Thursday and we'll take a look a little bit at the Maundy ceremony where um, obviously kings before but uh, the Queen Elizabeth II uh, has been giving out to 
deserving uh, elderly people uh, within the kind of parish, I guess, of the church or cathedral that the service happens each year. Uh, a little pouch containing a set of Maundy money. Lots of British pomp and pageantry and uh, these beautiful little coins that have remained pretty much unchanged, even with decimalisation. And uh, this one is the threepenny one, the three pence. And there's actually a one, two, three and four pence Maundy. And you can see here Her Majesty uh, giving out little pouches of Maundy money on the Maundy Thursday ceremony. Quite, uh, quite fun. Never been to one of those, but uh, it looks interesting. And you quite often see these pouches of coins come up for sale. Quite a few people collect Maundy money. Next, we've got a 10 franc coin from Burundi. And uh, this coin is not one that I know uh, anything very much about. So if any of you guys know anything about the history of Burundi and coins, uh, I had to create a new country on my spreadsheet for this one because it was the first one from that part of the world. This one is a two franc silver coin from uh, Switzerland. Very nice condition. And uh, I kind of like Swiss gold coins, had those before. I think this is one of the first silver Swiss coins that I've had and also uh, very, very nice. Then we have this 1967 uh, Sovereign, a uh, nice condition graded coin, and this one is going in a GB labeled holder. So this is gonna be reholdered. So uh, it matches other coins, which brings us to the end of this look at 1967. And uh, here's a few more videos that you may have missed. And uh, please like, subscribe, and let me have your comments as usual.